follow the Ark to Arcturus. Hey there, stargazers. I'm Dean Regis, astronomer from the Cincinnati Observatory. And I'm James Albury, director of the Kika Silva Plow Planetarium in Gainesville, Florida. We're here to help you find your way around the sky. This week, we're going to do a little star hopping and discover new stars and constellations. Our jumping off point will be the Big Dipper. <sighs> the Big Dipper, the most recognizable star pattern in all the northern sky, visible almost all year round. This will be our guide to the heavens. First, it'll point us to the North Star. Then show us the way to the bright orange star Arcturus. Then lead us to the brilliant blue star Spica. And we'll even meet a planet along the way. All right, let's head out to the sky. Okay, we have our sky set for 10 p.m. facing northeast, where we see the Big Dipper high above the North Star. If its cup was full of water, it'd be pouring right into the Little Dipper and overflowing onto me. Cool umbrella. Thank now, you. if we shoot an arrow through the two stars on the end of the Big Dipper's cup and continue that line, it'll run smack dab into the North Star. Now, let's use the Big Dipper's handle to find two more wonderful stars. Simply draw an imaginary line through the handle of the Big Dipper and extend it out along the curve, or arc, and you'll arc your way to the bright star Arcturus. So in other words, repeat after me, follow the arc to Arcturus. Follow the arc to Arcturus. Hey, that's pretty catchy. I know, right? Just something uh, I made up. Anyway, Arcturus is the brightest star in the constellation Boötes the Herdsman. His outline looks more like a narrow kite. Or an ice cream cone on its side. Ooh, look out, Dean, that scoop is loose. Ah! After you arc to Arcturus, keep going. Straighten out the arc a bit and you'll run into a brilliant blue star called Spica. Spica is the brightest star in the constellation Virgo the Maiden. She's standing upright and covers most of the eastern sky. Do you have a catchy saying for Spica? Oh, of course. First follow the Arc to Arcturus, uh -huh. then hit a spike to Spica. Wow, that's a lot less catchy. Yeah, I know, but maybe it's so bad that you'll remember it. Let's compare Arcturus and Spica to our star, the Sun. Arcturus is relatively close to us, only 37 light years away. Spica is about seven times farther, at around 261 light years. The Sun, on the other hand, is only eight light minutes away. Now let's size these three stars up. The Sun is about 865,000 miles in diameter, and that's large enough for 109 Earths to stretch end to end across its width. But that's nothing compared to Spica, which is over seven times wider than our Sun, and Arcturus, which is over 25 times wider. This Arc to Arcturus and Spike to Spica trick works every spring, but this year we have something extra. There's also a really, really bright light in the mix that should distract you. It's way brighter than Spica and is actually a planet, but which one is it? Let's fly up there to get a closer look. Wow, that is one bright star, or I mean planet. It should shine with a steady cream-colored glow just above blue Spica. When we zoom in on our mystery planet, we'll see that it is Jupiter, the largest planet in the solar system. Through a backyard telescope, we can see its four moons, stripes on the planet, and on rare occasions, the Great Red Spot. Astronomers have been watching the Great Red Spot and have seen some changes recently. It used to be a giant, oval-shaped storm the size of three Earths, but now, oh no, it's shrinking! Dean Regis, ladies and gentlemen, acting a line from the movie 2010. Anyway, it's shrinking fast. If this keeps up, the Great Red Spot could fade away. So be sure to go see it this year, just in case. So this spring, get outside and let the Big Dipper be your guide. The two stars on the end of the spoon will take you to the North Star. And the curved stars on the handle will let you arc to Arcturus. Hit a spike to Spica. And then jet up to Jupiter. Nice. Keep looking, looking up. up.